Howdy folks, today we are recording on the old, uh, what is this, the Canon. I haven't filmed on this thing in a long time. So, what we're doing today is we are having a MRE mystery right here. And I was noticing on the package, I bought this on uh, 27 January of 2021. So, uh, had it for quite a while now, so it's time to eat it up. And during this time period is when I had uh, the COVID virus and I was laid up in bed and uh, spent way too much time on uh, eBay buying crap. So this is one of the things I bought. I'm hoping that this is not one I've already had before, but I do not know because it was mystery and I have never opened it. So let's open it up here and see. There we go. So we got a uh, MRE American. This is American MRE. Two menu two beef shredded and barbecue sauce. So uh, yeah, we'll start opening this up and seeing what's in here. Now these say you can peel them apart and all, and you can, but it's uh, sometimes a little difficult. You can always use a knife if you need to. You can just peel that open. So. Go in here and see what we got. All right, first thing up is uh, tortillas, plain. I have not had this one before, so uh, that's good. Glad I got one I hadn't had before. All right, next thing up in here is the main. That is shredded beef barbecue sauce. All right, next thing up is a uh, oatmeal cookie. Sterling Foods. We got our standard issue uh, MRE four, uh, spoon. I love these spoons, they're nice and heavy duty. Next thing up, we got a cheese spread with jalapenos. I don't think I've had the jalapeno one before, so that's cool. Which probably means we got a cracker in here somewhere. All right, next thing up is uh, black beans. So you get the main, plus you get the black beans in this one. That's, that's kind of cool. You get kind of like two, uh, two mains. All right, we got beverage base powder orange. Got a water bag. Here we have our heater to heat the food. Got our little uh, package to put it in as it's heating here, to keep it all together and warm. And then we got our little condiment package here. Let's see what all's in here. So no crackers with the uh, cheese sauce. Guess you just spray, spread that on your. Uh, Tortilla there, along with the shredded beef. Okay, so first thing we got here is some ass wipe. I dye salt, that's quite a bit of salt. That is uh, 0.4 grains, uh, 0.4 grams, I'm sorry. Seems like a big package of package of sugar. <clears throat> Moist towelette. Non-dairy creamer. This is the first time I've seen this in one of these. This is a uh, Splenda package. Zero calorie. Bill's Brew. Freeze dried coffee. Hey, a package of barbecue sauce. That's cool. So overall, I like this MRE. It's got quite a few uh, interesting characteristics to it. And some... Uh, Gum, laxative gum. I don't know if that's still laxative gum. It used to be. All right. Well, let's uh, let's start getting our stuff heated up. All right. So using our flameless ration heater here, you're gonna open it. Like I say, open right here on this side of the package. See if you can see that right there. 
And uh, we're going to put our main and our beans in there. So I'm hoping this is a good one. It looks like it's going to be pretty, pretty decent. I'm hoping so. Like I said I never had this one before, so I don't really know what to expect. Sounds interesting anyway. All right, there's our beans. Let's get our, our uh, main in there. Kind of curled up, so I'm trying to get straightened out so it fit inside this heater. There we go. We got both of them inside. I got the heater right in the middle. We're gonna fill it with our water to the fill line. And if you if you overfill these, it don't work as good. So I'm trying to just go to the fill line there. There we are. Take that and roll that up. I like to shake these really good and make sure the heat is activated. All right, I'm gonna stick it in this little package right here. This here just folds down like so. I am super hungry. It's late in the day and I haven't eaten, so uh, I'm hoping this will be good stuff. Alright, so get that all tucked away in there. So I'm gonna find a I'm gonna use one of these logs over here to lean it up against and uh yeah, get that started cooking. So a couple things that I have not seen in a MRE before is uh I've never seen a Splenda in here before. It's the first time I've seen that. It's the first time I've seen nacho cheese sauce with jalapeno. First time I had tortillas in a uh, MRE. So there's a lot of things in here that are new to me. I don't do a lot of these reviews. I do like one or two a year. So uh, I'm sure these things have been out for a while. I just haven't seen them. So while this is going here, heating up, it's starting to get warm. Got a little bit of hot water here. Get the kitties into with the possum over there, Jesus. Settle down over there. Anyway, I haven't seen this kind of coffee before, the Bill's Brew. Usually it's like Nescaf or something, but this is a first time I've seen Bill's Brew, so we'll try it out. Some people do not like instant coffee at all. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, when you're cold and you've been out camping or whatever, any kind of coffee is good, in my opinion. So there's that. I heated that water up just a little bit. Put our package of Splenda in there. And uh, we'll smoke on this cigarette that came with it. Oh, I'm sorry, this is way too new for this. All right, there's a spoon. Go ahead and throw this creamer in there. And we'll see how this coffee is. It doesn't look like Starbucks, but uh, hey, nevertheless, it's a warm caffeinated beverage. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's definitely not a Starbucks at all. And I call it Starbucks because. Every time you go there, it leaves a scar in your wallet. It 
So while we're waiting for that to heat up, let's go ahead and check out our, uh, our dessert here. This is from Sterling Foods, Celebrate Taste, Oatmeal Cookie, TFF. And this is made in San Antonio, Texas. There we go, folks. Actually, it looks pretty good. Let's see what it smells like. I think it smells really good. Hmm. A tasty cookie. All right, folks, it's been going about 30 minutes there. I'm gonna clean off my spoon from the coffee. And we're gonna do our other beverage base here, the orange beverage. It says they're 12 ounces. I went a little over the 12 ounces, but that's okay. Got more like 14 ounces in there. This stuff tends to be a little strong, so not a problem. Now, if you're as old as me, you'll remember Tang. That's what this is kind of like, Tang. Not to be uh, confused with Poontang. That don't taste nothing like this. There we go, we got a nice tasty orange beverage. All right, let's open these up and see what we got. First off here, we're gonna do the beef and the black beans. There's your ingredients in there. Shredded beef and barbecue sauce and black beans and seasoned sauce. So yeah, let's see what we got. Let's see how warm these got with that heater. Trying to do two. It's not very warm, just kind of slightly. So what you do is kind of just mash it up around there, kind of evenly distribute the heat. So at least it's sort of warm, but it's not not very hot at all. I was kind of suspecting that when uh, we got one heater for two, basically two mains. There's our black beans, same thing. Kind of smash them around a little bit so that evenly distributes what heat is in there. Alright, let's open these up. Okay, first off, the black beans. And they actually look like a chili bean. That's uh, that's gonna be pretty tasty. And they're not all just mashed up. They are uh, actually whole, whole beans and like a chili sauce. It actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. Some of these are really good, and sometimes they're just really bad. That smells really good. I can smell it from here. Hmm. It was like chili sauce. Cool deal on that one. We'll do our main next here, next to it. Wipe this here knife off. It happens quite a bit when you start to rip it and it doesn't go all the way. So you can go from the other end or you can just use your knife. Like so. There we go. 
So that's what the pouch looked like inside. Let's put that on the plate. And uh, for MRE, that looks, you can see the shreds of meat in there. There's a lot of sauce, of course, you know. But uh, yeah, you can see some shreds of meat, so that's, that's a good sign. So that's what we look like so far. Open up our tortillas here. Got a separate little plate here. And uh, make sure you take that off. That's to keep it the moisture out. It looks like they give you two tortillas. And they actually look like pretty decent tortillas. It smell chemically, but uh, what tortillas don't? So before we adulterate this with uh, barbecue sauce and cheese spread and all, let's just see what it tastes like each individual item. So I'm going to try just a small sample of each thing. That's the beans. It was really tasty. And here's the shredded beef. And you can see there, there is some ni nice actual shreds of beef in there. So it's not just sauce. It's actually pretty damn tasty, especially for pre-packaged. All right, let's build a let's build a taco. So what I'm gonna do for this first taco, I'm gonna do this one with just some of the cheese, the nacho cheese spread. You can see the little chunks of uh, jalapeno in there. Wish this was warm; it'd be good too. And I'm going to do some of the barbecue beef on there, on this one. And we'll put just a little bit of barbecue sauce over the top of that. And we'll eat this first one like that. The next one we're going to make is going to have the beans on it. There's the barbecue sauce. I mean, this don't look gourmet by any stretch of imagination. I mean, it kind of looks like something your dog shit out, but uh, so far, all the taste and everything have been spot on. So, uh, for what it is, you know. All right, let's try this taco. So I have to say, this is probably my favorite MRE I've ever got. The flavors are. Outstanding for being prepackaged, uh, long shelf life stable. Pretty good. Well, I guess we can try out this tasty beverage. The taco was pretty damn good. Uh, there's the drink. And it's not as uh, sweet as I thought it'd be. It's not really sweet at all, actually. That's good. Because the barbecue sauce is. All right, so this next one, we're going to put a little cheese down. A little of this cheese goes a long way, just by the way. All right, we got a cheese down. I'm going to do a big old scoop of black beans on here. And that, the only real complaint I have on this whole thing was the, uh, uh, the, the ration heater does not get very hot. And especially when you have two really dense items you're trying to heat up, the beans as a, as a uh, dense side and the uh, beef as a very dense side. One heat ain't enough. It was barely above, you know, like cold temperature. A bit of barbecue sauce. Flasher is liking it. Pull that one over, and that's our next taco right there. 
So yeah, man, if you got camping or whatever, and uh, or if you're in the military and you you get this one as your meal, I think you'd be pretty uh, pretty happy with this one. Okay, so my review on menu number two, beef shredded and barbecue sauce. Uh, it's got some cool elements to it. Uh, I actually enjoyed this one probably the most of any uh, MRE I've had. All the quality was much better than some of them I've, I've had in the past. Uh, I liked the fact that they had the tortilla as your bread instead of like a, one of those crazy buns that's been uh, processed with lots of chemicals forever and ever and ever. Uh, the dessert was a cookie, but the cookie was very tasty. And it actually smells, you can smell like the, uh, the cinnamon and the uh, spices in there. Pretty good. All spice and all. Um, didn't care for the coffee as much as I have in the past. Um, it's also the first time I've seen a sugar substitute in the coffee. Some of the MREs you get have uh, Nescaf and things like that in there, name brand. Uh, coffee wasn't terrible, but it wasn't as good as some of the ones I've had in the past. Um, orange beverage drink was pretty damn uh, tasty. It's not super sweet, so that's a good thing. The gum. But the two, uh, the two mains here, that are the main and the main side, were pretty tasty and uh, done pretty well. So, yeah. Overall, this one is chef approved. Thanks for joining me, and we will see you guys next time.